So here we are on our last days in Korea, and uh, Jin and I want to take advantage of a beautiful day. Sunshine came out today, so we headed up to the mountains, up to Gapyong, to visit the Garden of the Morning Calm. Uh, beautiful area up here, and it's an area that we visited before, and we'll hope to come back to many times. Um, but before we get to the Garden of the Morning Calm, we decided to stop and get some lunch. So we're going to have some naengmyeon. My mind. No more name. <laughs> We're gonna eat traditional countryside dish. Alright, so this is actually jipbap, uh, traditional uh, food from the house. And it's uh, vegetarian, mostly vegetarian over here. We have some roots, we have some seaweed, we have some prehistoric vegetables, and we have a lot of things. I'm not sure what they are, but they're pretty tasty. Now, of course, we have kimchi. It's a vegetarian's delight. No, there's a fish there. I'm vegetarian. I'll miss this so much. And I'll dream about it every single day. <laughs> Not just that, but you have the Giants on TV <laughs> against the Dodgers. How good is that? Oh, man. I'm full. I'm full. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to actually miss those meals. Alright, here we are at the uh, Garden of the Morning Calm. And it looks like we're going to walk off that meal we just had. A famous Indian poet once called Korea the land of the morning calm. That's why this garden has its name. You can see why. So we've done the uh, morning calm <laughs> garden, and I think we are pretty exhausted. <laughs> okay, it was a total of five kilometers. We've closed our exercise ring for the day, and now we're going to get dinner. All right, so after visiting the garden of the morning calm, it's time for the garden of the Kalbi. 